Hi, in this video, we will have a look at how to restore a deleted flow using PowerShell. So for this, we need to install PowerShell commandlets for Power Apps. So here is the installation URL. So for this, you need to copy this command, the PowerShell command, and then you need to go to your machine and start typing Windows PowerShell. Here it is. Always run as administrator. And that will prompt you to ask. You need to click on yes. Okay, once it's done, you can right click and say install that. I already installed this, so I'm not I'm going to skip that session a section now. Okay. The next thing you need to do here is um, I can you know connect the PowerShell using the PowerShell command, I can connect my flow environment okay so here is my flow what i'm going to do here is i can i'm going to delete it now so this my flow is called employee list flow okay delete okay so i deleted this so generally you know there are different ways you can do it there are two ways basically one using the flow you can retrieve it I'll show that in another video. So this is purely through the command prompt using the PowerShell. Okay. And remember, um, if it is only for the past 20 days only, you know, uh, you can get this. Otherwise, you won't get it. So if it's more than 20 days after the deletion, um, you won't be able to run the, run the script and uh, getting your flow back. Okay. Um, now, I'm going back to the PowerShell command. Now, the flow is deleted. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my PowerShell, Windows PowerShell. So going back to the Windows PowerShell, run as administrator, click on yes. Okay, here it is. Right. Right, okay. So the first thing is I need to connect to my flow environment. So add minus power apps account. That's what you need to do. So now what will happen here is it will prompt you to log in. So here it is. That's what you get. All you need to do there is what are the login name you using to log on to flow uh, power apps uh, environment. That's what you need to do here. So I'm using this email address here. So logging to my flow environment now. So it is connected now. Okay. The next thing we want to know is we can list all the flows, including the deleted ones using the next command, which I'm going to show. Okay. Right, so I only know the partial name here, employee list, yeah, something like that. And if I press enter, it says, no, I can't able to find that, you know, it doesn't know anything about that. So what I did then is I removed the list. I know it's starting with employee. Let's see if it's going to get or not. Okay, there's nothing happened there. No, it didn't, it didn't do it. So now the next thing I'm going to do again here is I'm going to go back here and put star and star here. Some wild characters here, star and star between that and see that. Here we go. So I found out that employee list flow then. Yeah. Even I tried like something like employee space list. It didn't like the space between that. See here it says that here something like invalid argument so i don't think it likes the space there i don't know what what character we need to replace there i'm not really sure can i put some question mark there let's see is that going to work yeah that worked so let me try something else here so if i put remove the star remove that and if i know the name Let's see then employee question mark list. Here we go. That's where you find out. So if you got the space, you need to put question mark, I believe, because if you put the space between that, it doesn't like it. 
See, it doesn't like that. Anyway, so we know how to get that now. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put star now. That's probably the easiest way to find it. Not with one single star, I don't know. Yeah, you can get that way also. Yeah, here we go, employee, star means, starting with employee, then whatever it is, you know, the name afterwards. So you may get more than one and, um, record here if it's matched with employee, yeah? So now we got the um, flow name, this flow ID, which is very crucial here to restore it. So the next command I'm going to execute is for the restore, yeah? So to the restore, we need to know two things here. One is the flow flow ID, which I just explained how to get the highlighted one. The other one is the en environment ID, which is this, the highlighted one from the URL, okay? So going back to uh, PowerShell script again, and uh, paste this, oops, not that. I need to copy another um, command here. There we go. That's restore minus admin. That's the environment name. That this is the ID coming from the the this one here. That's the name. Yeah. And then the next is the flow name. That is seven six B. That is this one here. The from the above PowerShell script we got the flow name which we want to restore. That's it. Press enter. So hopefully what that should do is it it will restore it. So it won't give anything, don't worry about this code, blank, description blank and all this here. It, it Just ignore those. It should restore now. I was suspecting it should be better to say the flow name here, something meaningful saying, yeah, the flow is restored, but that's not the way this works. Right. So now if I'm going to refresh my screen now, I should be able to see employee list flow and it is disabled also see that. You know, yeah, I, so this is the way you can restore it. Let me edit that flow now. Click on edit. Here, here it is, that's my flow has been restored. So this is the technique you can use for restoring, um, you know, the flows using the Windows PowerShell script. Again, you know, there is a good documentation out uh, from Microsoft. I will, I will copy the link of link uh, of that um, the documentation and again if you want to restore more than one file you can do some complex for loop also i'm not going to cover that in this video which might be a little bit complex for the users but i'll quickly show you that um, as a comment uh, prompt uh, as in my notepad that yeah so so that's where you do the forage so basically what you're all you're saying is i got two flows to restore that is this in a loop uh, then putting the command that's all it is and this environment um, name uh, just ignore that all you need is the id then which i explained earlier uh, which is environment name this is the default one here here we go so you can then restore to uh, that environment you want to uh, you know push uh, push into and restore it yeah uh, so that's the syntax it is for the follow hope this you uh, this video is useful thank you for watching